Hi everyone. So I know I haven't uh, actually sat down and talked to you guys, but today I'm here to do a spell for um, one of my family members in this household because they are just going through a lot and um, we're basically doing, I don't know if I want to call it revenge spell, curse, or whatever I'm going to do to this person, but it's probably going to mainly be under hex. I don't know yet. I want to title it but this spell is going to basically give everything back to what they gave to the person in my house and we're wanting to go extra hard today so um of course i'm working with my main deity which is god but so um we're going to give them back because you don't treat people in my house like shit basically and if you're going to do them wrong well guess what don't 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 piss off a witch basically and people forget that witches can do what they need to do to take care of this. So we're going to take care of them. I mean, this can be a revenge slash curse spell. So so what I have is a red candle because it reminds me of being angry. It's also one of Jesus' colors that I use when I work with the Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. But um, red is very good for, um, you know, the elemental magic fire. It's also good for, um, uh, it's good for anger revenge you know have you ever been so angry that you've seen red so this is what i'm using for i got the person's name on here that i'm going after my target's name and we're going to take care of her really good and um i've already cleansed it now i'm just going to take this um frankincense and myrrh oil that i have made as you can see look how beautiful that is look at that because i got my flashlight on i'm in my kitchen because we now have five people in this apartment now we got um three of my cousins uh, my cousin and her boyfriend um, and then we got my cousin who was previously here and then just me and my husband. So now that, you know, they're here, I'm going to take extra precaution because of stuff that's going on spiritually. And I'm burning some Lotus incense that I got from Five and Below. So, um, it just is what I felt to pick out. So I'm going to do some of this stuff away here. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and take this trail. Go ahead and get this plate. Hopefully you can see that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and anoint. Let's see. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. going to pray over it just for a minute so if you don't mind just sitting there for a second I'm back. I just needed to pray over it a little bit, get my energy into it. But now we're going to do this. I'm going to stick this to the plate. All right. I just want it to stick to the center of the plate. You know, it's not the center, but it's okay. Right, so this is how it's going to look because I'm putting things around it because this person, this target, this candle is going to represent them. So we're just putting a lot of things around their life right now. So <clears throat> the first thing I want to add in here, which I don't have on my table. All right, give me a second. All right, 
So we're going to add some salt. going to do is add the element that is going to stop them from what they're trying to do to my cousin and mind you um, this is family against family so it's kind of ridiculous but I'm going to have to take care of it my way because um, I'm done being nice with them they have done try to hurt her and it, I, mm -mm, no so what you need is some salt for this one. The salt is going to sour out their plans, their opportunities, sour out any job careers they have, sour, you know, make it so salty to where they don't want to do anything anymore with their life, basically. So I'm going to be right back on prayer with this. All right. So now what we're going to add is sugar. And people would wonder why I'm adding it, but for what I'm going to do with this is to sweeten out their, um, basically... Uh, there's going to be court soon, so what this is going to do is sweeten out any of the plans they have to throw in court so the case can't go further with um, my cousin going on probation or anything. So what we're doing is just spreading this around because it's going to sweeten out um, their secrets, sweeten out their plans, sweeten out um, their minds to where they're not thinking about this because they have their own issues and they need to focus on that. And that's what we're just basically, we're sweetening out their attitude basically. We're sweetening out their, their um, bitchiness basically. So, all right, so now that we got them to basic the salt to salt out their plans in court and the sugar to sweeten out their attitude problems and their bitchiness, now we're going to go into the mean part because I just want to get the little two basic steps done first where we can try to sweeten up their attitude and salt out their opportunities and plans against my cousin. So now we're going to go into the part where I'm really going to ruin their life because it just needs to be done and I'm going to explain everything that I'm putting in here like I did the sugar and salt so like the first thing I'm going to grab is tobacco because tobacco is really good for cleansing it's really good for removing things and it's also really good to cause like illness and also it's really good to basically put an obstacle blocker in someone's life so if they're trying to do opportunities you know you can use this on your enemies and it will block any opportunity that your enemy your target basically it, it will block the new opportunities for them it will make to where um if they try to go get a job they'll be automatically denied if they have licenses and some job it'll make it to where their job life is havoc and to where they want to get another job or it just depends on what you do as the witch but for me tobacco is really good for to put an obstacle in someone's life so that's what i'm gonna be blessing it and praying over it for <clears throat> all right now there's something I'm going to add in here, but I can't tell you what this one is because I really don't want my um, my pay this video to be flagged. But let's just say, because I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is, but this herb is really good to basically, um, I don't know how to put this in no way, but basically what you do with this herb, which I'll probably have to email YouTube and see if I can talk about it on YouTube because I really don't feel like getting this flagged because this video is going to be taking me a little while because I'm up at 1 o'clock in the morning right now. So this herb that I'm putting in next um, really amplifies, you know, um, problems for people's lives. It really, it breaks them down emotionally and physically, and it makes them to where they're so drained they don't want to do nothing, basically, to where they're just tired, to where they don't even want to do nothing but stay in bed. But it looks like a depression thing, I guess you can say. So I'm going to go ahead and jump off here for a minute, add it in here, pray over it, and I'll come back. All right, now I'm back. All right, so next I'm going to bring in some catnip because this is a revenge spell. And catnip is very good for fighting wars. And what we're doing is fighting um, a case right now, um, a court case. And even though this is also a revenge spell, very catnip is really good for warfare. You know, catnip is really good for fighting things, so legal cases or uh, um, a ticket. Um, but also the other part of catnip is to warfare against the enemies that are coming against you. Warfare, I mean, um, catnip is really good to basically put your enemy on hold to where they can't do nothing. 
you know, to where everything in their life just stops. And they have really messed up because when you give someone a chance, chance, and God knows your heart when you're doing spells and stuff, you know, the one thing that I know that what I'm doing now is God knows my pure intentions is to protect my family. And that's what I'm doing. And so that's why I don't worry, you know, like other people say, because, you know, there's a lot of stuff that other people are doing. But I'm using this and my magic for the good to protect my family. But yeah, catnip is really good for warfare and also to basically put a hold on your enemy's life. So I'm going to bless it for the court case and for the second one that I said. So I'll be right back. All right. So now I'm going to add some paprika. No, this ain't paprika. What is this? Chili powder. Oh, I'll grab the chili powder. I guess I was going to grab it. All right, so we're going to put some of this right here, right near the candle. All right, so what I'm adding paprika in for, which was supposed to be, um, I think I said parsley, something like that. I can't remember, paprika. Uh, what I'm adding chili powder, I guess, is for to stir up chaos because they're causing chaos or chaotic moments for her in my house so what we're going to do is cause chaotic things for them you know because they're not going to be doing this oh we're going to do this to you and you can't do nothing about it wrong there's a witch in the house try again so i'll be right back all right so now um what am i going to move on to we're going to do some black pepper Black pepper. Oh, I didn't even explain. So chili, let me get to this right past. Chili powder is really good for um, causing havoc in your enemy's lives. It's really good for warfare. It's really good for, for curses and hexes. And it's really good for bindings too, I've noticed. And black pepper is really good for curses, period. It's to, you know, um, amplify their, their emotions. It's to bind them, um, hurt them. It's to basically make them feel everything that you want them to feel because black pepper is in your energy and black pepper is really good for stopping them and burning their path basically if you want to basically stop someone from moving on to where they are now black pepper is the one to do it but black pepper is an all like revenge magic element because black pepper is going to burn their desires burn their heart burn their eyes burn their emotions burn everything they're going through burn their will to where they don't know where to turn to or where to go to, or they're just lost. So that's what we're going for now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add the last two while I'm sitting here. And I'll pray over this after in just a minute. So next I'm adding some eggshells. Eggshells are really good for protection, but eggshells are also really good to crack their protection, to crack their mind, to crack, you know, it, it's really good for all purpose in cursing. Um, what I use it for is their path. You see how these are all cracked? Their path's gonna crack, you know? That's how I use it. And also I use it in protection because I put it in my protection mix, the, video, the last video I made. And then the last thing, if I can get it open, is graveyard dirt. And everyone knows Graveyard Dirt is powerful. And what I'm using my last bit for is to bring death to the havoc that they have caused in my cousin's life. To bring death to their evil ways. To bring death to, to all their problems. And to bring more havoc from this Graveyard Dirt into their life. Ending the situation with my cousin and then bringing more onto them three times worse. Not... Physically, just emotionally and spiritually, and all that. So I'm gonna go pray over all three, three of these, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So now, all we need left, or all we got to do now, is um, say one little scripture from my favorite scripture in the Bible that I use for curses um, and hexes. So because we are doing revenge. See what we're gonna read for. Just gonna 
see, because I'm not trying to, it's just revenge. I'm not doing a full on curse forever. You know, I'm just doing a, a lesson learned revenge magic spell, basically, revenge spell. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is, I'm trying to find the one that I, that's like, not long, you know, because if you read a lot of the Bible, there's a lot of spells in here that you can read. So let's do. Okay. Okay, we're going to read verse 7 of 109. So I'm going to read this three times. Um, and I will be right back because i got to focus my energy because I'm used to just doing it on camera, but it just takes so long for me to do it on camera because I want to focus my energy good. So I'm praying this over the candle. And then I will be right back. In Jesus' name. Lord Jesus. And the help of my ancestors, guys, and angels, thank you for helping me with this spell. By God's magic, it is done in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so next we are going to just light this bad baby up. Like so, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I activate this spell completely to, to bring revenge upon. To where they won't win anything at all in Jesus' name. Let their light let their light cut off and let the depression take over in Jesus name. Let what they caused my cousin to come back on them three times worse in Jesus name. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, with the help of my God's ancestors and angels, it is done in Jesus name. Alrighty, there is your spell that I just did. If you want to know the, the book where I got the spell, it is in Psalms 109 right here. Psalms 109 is where I got the spell from. So, um, yeah. Um, that is it basically. Now, basically what I'm doing is just letting the incense burn, letting my candle burn. I'll come back here every now, like every 10 minutes maybe and do my rosary again and say the scripture but that is it basically and now i'm going to burn a little bit of sage to cleanse out this area because i don't want this lingering in my house that's another reason why i put salt around and that's another reason why i have this candle here this candle what it does is i made i didn't make it but i cast i uh, turned it into a sigil candle and what it does is when I light this, no other witch or psychic or any spiritual gifted person can sense when I'm doing my magic. Because if I have this lit at all times, they cannot see, no matter if they do tear cards, if they have gifted gift the sight, they cannot see what I'm doing because this automatically cloaks me and this automatically keeps the spell from lingering in my house. So, but I'm still gonna burn sage because it just will make me feel better. And since my stage is acting up, looks like I'm going to have to burn some like this. So. Alright, let me go ahead and light some of this up. I'm going to give them a little bit of an offering while, before I step away. Pray over it like so. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I bless and activate the sage to cleanse this area completely. So, not let this spell linger in this house. I activate this sage as an offering unto God and his angels. Thank you, God, for helping me in this spell. And I close this right now. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name.
Alrighty. So now that that's done, I will see you guys next time. I will be coming out with some more spell videos. I promise I will make a video where I sit down and talk to you guys, but I'm just doing stuff and I want to show you. So I hope you all have a good night and I will see you next time. There will be some update changes to my channel. Um, my videos, I mean, my title will be changing from Ray Ray to, um, I think I'm going to change to God's psychic medium and witch or you know a christian witch medium i don't know yet i haven't decided but um yeah so this is a revenge spell and it's going and i will see you guys next time and i will be coming out with more spell videos very very soon so because i have a lot of spell work to do because this is my revenge spell i had to do for the week and then I have to do a, I have to break a couple of spells off of people in my house because I've been doing a lot of tarot readings with them and noticed that there was some curses put on them. So tomorrow you might see some videos because this might not come out until tomorrow. So what I might do is record those tomorrow. And then, uh, yeah. So I will see you guys next time and bless it be.